Today we're going to start talking about circles. Um, tomorrow is Pi Day, so I'm going to skip to chapter 10, which is the circle chapter, in honor of Pi Day. And Pi Day is tomorrow because it is 314. It's March the 14th. So Pi, as you know, or hopefully you know, Pi is 3.14 but it also is an irrational number, which means it goes on forever. So um, tomorrow we'll be participating in a few activities for Pi Day. One of the activities is to memorize Pi to as many decimal places as you can. So um, you can look it up on your cell phones at the end of class. Um, 3.14159. Um, after that, you can get a few more decimals on your calculator. But if you use your cell phone and research decimals of pi, they've got it out to millions of decimals. So, have fun memorizing that. Um, there will be prizes given for anybody who can memorize it to uh, the most decimal places. Okay? Um, talking about circles, you need to watch this video after you have done your vocab boxes. Okay, now I trust that you've taken the time and you've gotten those definitions and some pictures in to those index cards. Let's look at this. Um, you should have this handout in front of you. Um, I have tried to kind of replicate that up on the whiteboard. Um, the spaces do match the spaces on your worksheet here. So let's talk about some of these together. Some of it's hard to see where these arrows are pointing at. Um, let's take this second one on the left side to start with. The point that's in the middle of the circle, that's what this arrow is pointing to. This point is just your center point. The center of a circle is that point in the middle. Okay, here is a good fact. Circles are called by their center. A lot of times they'll list it as, oh, you could have any letter there could have F, could have D, just whatever letter they put there in the center. That's how we can call a circle. Okay, so if they had the center labeled as F, then this would be called circle F, and this is the notation. So go to your circle index card, make sure you have this under that extra information spot. Okay, that's the way you label it. Um, let's take a look at some of these other ones here. Um, let's look at, um, let's go for the top one over here. This is pointing to the edge of the circle, and so what it wants you to kind of take into consideration is all the way around the edge. What do you call that? That one is your circumference. You should know that from another class. Um, circumference is kind of like the perimeter of a circle. It's all the way around. Okay. Uh, what about this third one on the left side? It's pointing to this piece that stretches all the way across and goes through the center. This is your diameter. Okay, should know that one from another class. I want you to skip with me over here. Now, as we're filling these in, you've got the word bank down below, so you can mark those out, the ones that we've used. Look at this bottom one on the right hand side. It is pointing to this piece right here on your worksheet. That piece, go to your index cards. What is the definition, or what's the word that um, has the definition? A segment that connects two points on a circle. This is called a chord. Now, I wanted to skip over to this one because we just came from diameter. Now, I want you to think about that definition. A segment whose endpoints is two spots on the circle. Look at your diameter. Isn't that happening for diameter too? Doesn't a diameter has a, have its endpoints on two spots of that circle? Yeah, it does. So what could we also call this piece over here? We could call it a chord. Every diameter is a chord, but the more specific name is diameter. Okay. Now what's the difference between chord and diameter? Diameter is a chord, 
but it specifically has to go at a certain spot. The diameter has to go through the center of your circle. Now, is this the only diameter I could draw for the circle? No way. I could put other ones in here. You could do it on your page if you wanted to. As long as you have a segment that connects two points of a circle and goes through the diameter, anywhere you were to draw that, that's going to be a diameter. Excuse me, it goes through the center. Okay? All right, so um, learning a little bit about these vocab words, a chord. You could also use that word to call a diameter. However, diameter is a more specific word. Um, but this word chord, any segment that connects two points on a circle. Okay, how many chords could you draw? A whole lot of them. They could be anywhere. They could be really close to the diameter. They could be really um, small down here. You could have a ton of them in there at any angle. Okay, let's go and look at... Um, Actually, let me, let me have you do this. We are not going to do the one right above chord, so mark that one out on your paper. Um, let's look at, let's look at this piece up at the top. This was not one of your vocab words, but we're going to throw it in here. This arrow at the top is pointing to the area inside this little piece of your circle. That area is called a sector. Okay, a sector is like a piece of pie. If we're actually thinking about a real pie, like an apple pie, and this circle represents your apple pie, if you cut out a slice of that pie, that is a sector. That's the geometry word for it. Okay? Um, this little one right here is pointing to this piece of the circumference right there. Okay, this little piece, we're not talking about all the way around, just that little part, that's what we call an arc. Okay? An arc is just a piece of the whole circumference. Okay? Um, looking at this third one down, what is this arrow pointing to? Looking at your worksheet, that is just this segment that goes from the center and stops here at this circle, you should know this one. This is your radius. Okay. Down at the bottom of the circle, take a look. Um, this bottom half here, this arrow, the bottom left is pointing to that bottom half. That's what it wants you to focus on. What would we call a half of a circle? Semicircle. You will need to know these vocab words. Part of your homework tonight is to be able to list a radius, list diameters, um, list um, different arcs. Okay, so make sure you can do that on your own. Practice 10-1, you can practice some of those.